And thanks so much for tuning into the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. Uh, it is summer. It is June. Uh, hopefully you will uh, enjoy this summer. I don't know what type of plans you have, but thank you so much for tuning in. And encouragement is uh, for you to continue to tune in all summer long. Uh, I know sometimes we go on vacations. I've said this before, but let's not take a vacation from our relationship with God. Um, I know that we'll still be here, right? Every every day, Monday through is Saturday for our daily dose for spiritual growth uh, because we want to continue to get you into the word of God and have that be a challenge, encouragement, and, and a spark for you to be like, hey, you know, I need to get into the word of God right here. This is the truth here. Uh, we're going to be in uh, the book of Hebrews the next couple of weeks. We just finished off Second Peter, and now we're going into Hebrews. We're taking a chapter at a time, um, and uh, we're actually going to take a chapter a day um, over the next uh, few few weeks here of the book of Hebrews. Encouragement uh, for you is to... Um, is for you to read through the the whole chapter. I'm going to highlight just a few verses, but if you could... If you could summarize the book of Hebrews in just one sentence or a few words, it would be Jesus is better. Um, well, I'll be saying that uh, probably several times over the next couple of weeks, and I'll explain why. Uh, verse 1 of chapter 1, if you have your Bibles, Hebrews, otherwise you can uh, listen along if you're in the car or if you're running on the treadmill or something like that. Okay, so Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 says this, Long ago, God spoke many times. And in many ways to our ancestors through the prophets. And that uh, goes right with Second Peter. Um, as we just finished that, Peter was talking many times about the, the prophets and how um, God spoke through prophets and how they were speaking out of their own human nature, their own human wisdom. But no, it's uh, from it was divine. God spoke through them. And how, that's how we got the Old Testament, uh, the Old Testament law. Uh, all, uh, all the prophecies came from God through these men, these prophets. And so God's primary way of, of speaking to people was through the prophets. And verse two, and now in these final days, he has spoken to us through his son. God promised everything to the son as an inheritance. And through the son, he created the universe. Who is he talking about? He's talking about Jesus here. All right. So uh, that's why you're saying Jesus is better. Now the Old Testament is fantastic. Uh, it is it is uh, talking about the, the the prophecies and there's wisdom. I mean the Book of Proverbs uh, with Solomon and and and, and uh, David um, uh, with uh, with Samuel and there's so so many rich rich things that you can learn, glean, and really um, increase your faith by reading the Old Testament. But the New Testament now uh, is talking about now that Jesus ha has come. Now this is obviously after that G you know Jesus uh, was lived on the earth. He died on the cross, and um, and the author of Hebrews here, which is actually unknown, uh, there's there's uh, some speculations. I'm not going to share any of, any of those. Bottom line is this: it is God breathed. Whoever God chose to use. Um, it's God's very word. So regardless of uh, who God used, uh, this is the word of God, okay? So what he's saying is that now Jesus, um, God promised everything to the son as an inheritance. Verse three, the son radiates God's own glory and expresses the very character of God. And he sustains everything by the mighty power of his command. When he had cleansed us from our sins, he sat down in a place of honor at the right hand of the majestic God in heaven. So what's he saying there? He's saying that, yes, God used prophets and yes, um, there's angels and yes, there's um, there's there's priests and there's all, the, all these things. But he's saying that Jesus is better. This is the only time where it says the very character of God. So in Greek there, what what the author was was uh, stating there is really the very nature of of God. Why is that? Or how is that? Well, Jesus is God, the very essence of God. Uh, Bible says that, that, that God, the invisible God became visible through Jesus, through the son. And so that's where we see here, the very character of God in verse three, verse four, we'll end here. This shows that the son is far greater than the angels, just as the name God gave him is greater than their names. So what do we need to learn here? What do we need to be challenged by? Is that we have a great high priest, Jesus, that we have access to. 
Um, yes, it's great that God uses people. And I'm so thankful that, that he used people like the prophets um, of old. And he, used, and he uses uh, pastors and he uses people today, which I'm so, so thankful for. But one thing that I want to ch- be challenged by today through this word is that I need to go to the source first. Um, and that's that's the word of God. And I need to make sure that I now have access to the great high priest, and that's Jesus, the very nature, the very character of God. So let that be an encouragement to you that you have that same access. You have that same access to God the Father through the Son, Jesus. And so would you take advantage of that today? Would you understand that Jesus is better? That yes, we have access to abundance of information and, and things like that, but we have something that's far greater than just earthly wisdom. Uh, we have divine nature, the very nature of God through Jesus. And he, Jesus said it himself, it's good that I go. And when, it, when, when the author says that he's sitting on the right hand of the Father, that's absolutely true. When Jesus ascended back into heaven, he's now at the right hand of the Father. And the Bible says that he is interceding on our behalf, meaning he's praying for us. And so now that we have access to God the Father through Jesus, let's take full advantage of that today. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.